Some heroes are born. Some heroes are made. These heroes are on commission. Welcome to No Experience Necessary. So we were supposed to go in the other door, so that means we can go back the way we came. I'll just take it back, back to room 7. Hmm. What about this portcullis? Let's go check out the portcullis. It is just a closed wrought iron gate again. No way to get through it? Uh, you can try to lift it open or bash it down. Those are um, two of your options. Let's do a strength check. I'm pretty strong. I'll try and help. Ah, oh, eight. Uh, eight? Sure, if, if you guys are working together... Uh, 13! Uh, I'll give you advantage if you guys are working together, so roll twice and take the higher. Please. Oh yes, 23. 23? I'm gonna go with my previous 13! Okay, uh, and you're working on the portcullis, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you guys easily push it back up and it latches it back into place. It's mm. clearly is one of those spring-loaded drop-down ones. Alright, let's go for a wander. So you guys are now headed... Uh, that was the southwestern thing. It leads downwards. There is a turn to the left, or you can continue going forth and turn to the right. Let's, I'm thinking, let's go left. What do you guys think? Left seems fine. Left, sure. Let's okay. go with left. Okay. You continue down that, uh, take a right turn, and then another right turn. One more left, and you are greeted with the familiar sign of another locked door. All right, somebody uh, should check for traps because I'm not very good at this. That is room 11. Endeavor to room check. Room 11, okay. I'm going to call that a 20. 20? No, it's probably more on the two. <laughs> uh, Darn it! Can I check? That, that's, Go for it. That's me think. being honest because it is cocked. <laughs> okay, I hit intelligence. I hit a 20. Natural 20. Natural 20? Natural you 20. can tell immediately that the door is trapped to spray fire. Oh, and how is it trapped? Uh, it's a it's a mechanism. It's it, like is it on the it, handle or oh like, what uh, is yeah, it tri- what triggers the, it? The handle is the trigger. Where okay. does it? Where do the jets come out? Uh, from the top, it sprays down uh, a flammable liquid, at which ignites in a cone. Is it a metal door or a wooden door? This one is a stone door, but it so, is. Oh, and what about the handle though? Uh, it's made of like it's a iron latch handle. So would I be able to hit it with like crossbows and trigger it? You can definitely try. Okay. And you don't have a crossbow though. I have light yeah. crossbow. I never gave you a cross. No, that's your proficiency. You don't own one. Yeah. You oh. can use one, but you don't have one. Okay. I tie the rope to it again. <laughs> okay. And I yeah. stand back and I pull. Uh, could you roll a, just a standard intelligence roll, I think, to make sure that you can put the thing together. Six? Uh, you are not exactly skilled at making knots, and the rope just kind of slides here, right off. Here, give me this, give me this. I got okay, this. okay. Uh, I get a nine plus one for my wisdom, plus I'm trained in survival. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a survival roll. So, uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, you have a better luck, but, uh, you can't get the angle right, and the door is not, the latch is not going. All right, uh, Haley, get on. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm going to do is, since one of my first days is daggers, is I'm going to try to hut my dagger on it. Well, I'll help us with the rope first. Well, I don't have rope. Roll, roll an day. intelligence roll. Yeah, just roll an intelligence roll to see if you guys can get this to... No, never mind. We're five, six. Yeah. yeah again, the, it's... We're like, hooped. Uh, if you just want to go ahead and try to huck a uh, dagger, you'll have to do an attack roll on that one. Okay, can I huck the granite tablet instead of the dagger? <laughs> I guess, but you're not supposed to damage them. I'm not supposed to. Aren't they I... magic? Aren't they invincible? Exactly. All right, go for it, I guess. I'm gonna huck the dagger <laughs> at the door thing. Wait, the granite thing or the dagger? The granite tablet. I'm gonna huck that at the door handle. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I mean, I'm trying I'm trying not to fire as much, guys. I have a problem. If I fire you, I will make sure we give you a really good going away. The chances are... This- um, so 14 plus what my... For throwing the tablet. <laughs> uh, 14 plus your uh, dexterity modifier. Dexterity modifier. 14 plus 2, 16. 
Okay, you have triggered it. Everybody do a quick uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, I was standing well back. Okay. Uh, It does do 15 feet, though, so unless you were... I was standing well back. Okay. I was not standing 15 feet away. I was more confident than that. um, But I rolled a nat 20 for my dex, so... so I am 13 plus what? You're both fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so it's, for the tablet, did the tablet take any damage or is it, it cool? did. It took 16 points of damage out of an amount that I never decided. So it's it's now really scuffed up and a little chipped. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's okay. Know, basically just threw your fucking phone at a wall. So <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not great. We weren't having much success otherwise. <laughs> okay. So you guys, the door is unlocked and it is now the... <laughs> It's the equivalent of a crack screen. This is my this is my character's exact reaction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, walk through this. Uh, yeah. You are now in room eleven. Uh, ahead of you, it's there. There is an archway, but it has no door. And in the Thank room, God, there is a tile labyrinth, uh, just like a design, not an actual. It looks like just a tile maze uh, that is across the entire floor. You can hear the sound of a dripping water, but that is just echoing down from the uh, first room that you guys were in. Uh, Alright, we should totally follow the labyrinth path here, guys. <laughs> Do we? Do we want to? Yeah. You guys hear more mechanical clicking, and it's getting closer again. Alright, uh, these guys are bad news, so let's just follow the labyrinth path. <laughs> Nobody step off of it, because this is bad, and let's go. Can I have permission to fight, to throw fire at them if we need it? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's, mm-hmm. Instead of holding me back. Uh, and then you, mocking me because of my fire use. Use your fireball at your own discretion. I'm not your mother. <laughs> or acid. Can I use acid too? Yes. Oh, acid. Okay, there we go. All right, so you guys are continuing out yes, of this room. please yes. try and keep me alive. All right, uh, so like through dying. the archway, there is a short hallway that ends in an immediate dead end. Uh, then you can turn uh, right and go forward. There is another locked door. All right, search for traps. Go for it. 10, 17... Six. Six. Theodore, you're holding us back some days. No, you guys uh, have noticed that this one is also trapped. Oh, it, One is a acid trap. Oh. oh I'm going to recommend what's, maybe I don't throw my What's thing the door out. made of? Uh, this is a wooden door. <gasps> Sorry. Yes, Carrie. No, no. Let's do it. Let's fire? fire? I want to fire this. Well, you guys want to stand back. It is an acid trap. Okay, I'm going to spell more than 15 feet away. Okay, is everybody safely more yeah. than 15 feet away? Okay, we're good, yeah. 15 feet? 15 feet? More than 15. I'm more than like 15, 30. 20? Can we in fact, talk? I'm going around the corner. Okay. Okay, and then I am going to, I think, stand in like just the hallway right before. Sure, yeah. And I am going to magic missile that bitch. Sure. Roll for damage, please. D6, right? Uh, nope, D4. Four? It's a this triangle. One? Yeah. Yep. Four. Four plus one, and so five, ten, fifteen. You take... It smashes a solid hole through it, but doesn't quite break the entire thing down, no. and it does shoot its load. <laughs> I, there's a better way that I could have phrased uh, yeah, that. Yeah, you could have... There are so many better ways. It, it, it does launch a, I don't think there were... <laughs> It launches a ropey stream of acid. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, guys, you guys are getting me into a weird... No, it, it does launch a, a jet of acid. And it is a good thing you guys went around the corner because it hits the wall. Woo! Freedom! <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, Could you more. guys go ahead and take care of the rest of it? I felt like I did a lot of work. Yeah, there. I'll go smash it with my axe now. Uh, yeah, just do a strength check. It's fine. Okay. 17 plus 5. That'll take it right down. So you take it off its hinges, basically. Uh, can we do a vi- can we take a moment to do a victory dance? Yes. We'll do a victory Have dance. we planned out our victory dance in advance? No, we really right. should come up with it. Let us take five minutes to choreograph a victory dance, and then we will perform it. <laughs> wow. <What? gasps> it could be like that warrior dance that that rugby, the New Zealand rugby team does. Yes. But. Umate, 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 uh, but not like less <laughs> less culturally appropriate. Yeah. Um, maybe more like okay. Offense. Well, there. As you guys enter this, this is room 19, I guess they for get those of you looking at the maps, yeah. there, it is another empty-ass room, uh, but Boring. Uh, this one has some, uh, someone has scrawled along the walls in uh, scratched runes, uh, the ceiling is covered in stalactites, it does not oh. look like this one was cut out very well. But the runes, who re, do any of you guys speak other languages? 
Draconic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you would. I don't have any other languages, I don't think. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure I speak Alpin and Common. Well, yeah, I spoke probably uh, Elfish and Human. Yeah, okay. So you you guys don't aren't able to translate what's written in the walls. Okay. It is a dialect you are not familiar with. Mm. Or a font. It, it, it's written in Hel- Helvetica. <laughs> okay, so this place is super scary. There is a random dead end door. Let's check that out. Shall we? Uh, so which which door? So there uh, are... The south door. South south doors and there's then, two south doors. There's two south doors. There's a south center. Oh, and, south center. Okay, and then there's a southeast, and then there's just a, a east corner door as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's do south center. South mm. center. South. They have a really good waypoint there. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> uh, it is just a simple wooden door, but it the latch is stuck. Oh. It's not locked. It's stuck. It won't turn. So I gotta jam that baby. Um, all right, uh, hit it with my axe. Or no, well, investigate for traps first. You guys are learning well. I'm happy. Uh, I got a two. So I'm like, yeah, guys, I've checked this early. There's no traps here. Trust me. I got a 16. <laughs> I got a 13. 16 is enough to know that it is just a stuck wind or it just hasn't been looped or something. All right, smashy, smashy. You guys are 19 really for shit. hit. Uh, yeah, that, that definitely hits. Do you want to roll your damage, please? Sure. Don't know what to do um, with this now, do you? No, you guys are... I, I've already killed you each once, so... I've clearly yeah. listed myself as a pyro. Oh, no, I... Yeah, okay. that's... that's, that's <laughs> uh, do I get to add my strength modifier? Yes. Okay. Uh, so 1d8 plus 1, and it's plus 1 mat, uh, plus 5, so 13. That doesn't sound right. How much is your strength modifier? 5. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got uh, 20 so strength because I'm a dragonborn. It basically goes into splinters, so it is... <laughs> Alright, is there anything gone. fun in here? Uh, no, it leads to a dead end. Alright, <laughs> well, if something bad happens in this room, this is our exit, alright? But you guys are I'm gonna investigate this dead end. A lot of skittering at this point. <laughs> You've done a lot of damage. We're this looks like a this dead place. end. <laughs> it sure does. Thank you. Alright, fine. <laughs> Let's go into room number one. Or Wait, there's two 20? number ones. Room number, could that be an 11? One's a hallway. Uh, maybe. But oh. yeah, you've got two number ones on your map. Anyways. You do. I do. Where's the other one? It's the hallway. From seven. From seven? It's, yeah. Uh, oh, that's an I. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> okay. That's hallway EI. To room number yes, one! Yeah. Do we okay. know it's named room number one? No. Uh, well, it is on our map. It's on it, your it's map. On your map. Yeah. yeah, so we, to we've got one? one to look at. This is a good wooden door. Should yeah. I? Good door. Should yeah. I? Should I? So consensus. Should I fire it again? Do it. It is stuck. It. Yes. Pardon? Is it, it is, stuck? It is stuck. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fire it. No. Fire it. Fire it. Standing well back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Standing well back. So, yeah. Um, you, is this a spell or are you? Well, I'm kind of debating now. I might, I might acid this again. Okay. So let's acid it. Plus. Oh, that's gonna hit. That's okay. Fine. Okay. Sorry. Let's uh, roll your damage. One d six. All right. So you splash it with ten and. It is eaten the way the fucking varnish, <laughs> but uh, it's not quite enough to break it down. And also, a thing happens. A what thing? thing what thing happens? That's okay. Here. Everybody, roll a dexterity. Uh, no, a Constitution saving throw. Uh, Kava's feeling very sick, and she immediately realizes she has somehow become poisoned. Oh, that's not <laughs> even good. Okay. Oh my guys, I don't feel so good. Okay. Can All I right. do a medicine check on her? Uh, you can. You have confirmed she has been poisoned. But it is not a bad poison. It's oh. not something that's going to kill her. Phew. It's just going to make her sick for a little while. Oh, okay. Should we rest? All right. How long do I... Now well, you still hear that clickety-clackety. Let's just go. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to smash you through the door. Okay. All right. Uh, just hit it, I guess. You do a, Just do a, an attack. Just do a, your damage roll. Uh, eight plus uh, whatever my modifier is. Strength mod? Okay, so... Plus what? 14? You... Again, it is splinters. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and you guys are heading into... God damn it, you guys are blowing through this one. So you're going to room one. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, in room one. Holy shit. No, what, what's up? I was just going to check it out, investigate it, see what's up. 15 plus intelligence? Mm-hmm. 16. So in this room, uh, you've broken the door. Uh, you see there's another entryway on the north-hand side. That one is a wooden portcullis, so just another closed-off area, gated area. And the west entrance, it has a strong wooden door. The east entrance 
uh, is just another empty archway. There's nothing currently blocking you to the east. And yeah, uh, that's it. There's, There's nothing going on in nothing this Nothing else. It is another empty room. It is becoming very apparent to you that the only things down here, aside from the multitude of traps, are the monodrums. Or the mo- modrons. Huh. Mm. Well, there's a few interesting things on the map. Like, there's a something. Do you see? Okay. Uh, right to the left of room number eight and mm-hmm. above room number ten, there's this, like, weird triangle series of lines. Those, that's a stairway. Interesting. I think that's up a stairway up. Mm-hmm. Up. Interesting. What about... Okay, what about uh, below uh, 9 and 10? There's like, what looks like another stairway. Is that one going down? Uh, that's, that's a, a stairway, stairway going down, yeah. Well, let's go to the down stairway. You guys, as you are looking at the maps, uh, your heads-up display has given you an update. Oh. It, oh. Ha- it has put X's around the map. Huh. It has done an X in what is marked as r- room 15, which only has one entry. It has an X... In room three, which you were heading to originally. Oh, I never got that far. You never really, you never went that way because you guys were scared of the door that you couldn't open, apparently. It was made of metal. And Look. there is a, also an X placed in room 12. Oh, well, we're close to room 12. You are... 12, 15, and 3. No further information is provided. Uh, you guys had cut a swath of destruction through this underground quarry. You have destroyed five monodrones on your path. You had reached a locked door that for some reason you guys thought wasn't worth it after you got the net trap off of it. Uh, you set I off... I was following everyone else. You set off a major fire trap, a major acid trap, and you are now, if you're looking at the map... In room 19. What, what? If I remember correctly. Yes, we right? are. Oh, no, you went... You no, went, we went into room one. Room went, one. Yeah, from room 19, you had entered room one. And there's nothing here, but the skitter-scatter that you heard from the monodrones coming close to fix all of your mess, you are hearing a lot more of and louder. And before we continue, did you guys have any questions about... What is happening, or have you figured anything out about what I've thrown at you guys so far? Okay, so these monodrome creatures are keeping this place up, maintaining its defenses, and repairing all of the doors. Yes. Um, they don't necessarily seem hostile to our presence so much as to... Progress. Exactly. So they're trying to keep us away from something. Presumably door number three was one of the things that they didn't want us going near. Right. You were alerted that there are important things to get to in in room three, in room 12, and room 15. All right. Going back doesn't seem like a good plan. Um, Except that all the doors are already open. Not if they've been repairing them. Remember? They repair. The monodromes go and repair things as you do. Yeah. So going back isn't... So going back right away means... Fire and acid traps. No, not necessarily. They may not have repaired them. Yeah. You guys you guys have, have gone room to room for like in 10 minutes each, so... All right, so if we book it back, do you think we can get to room number three, or do you think we can get to room 12? Yeah, I think we can get to room three pretty quick. To the room three! To the room three, sure, whatever. Okay. Uh, so heading back at a brisk pace, uh, the doors you broke in room 19 have not been repaired. The door out of room 19 has not been repaired. You've gone through the archway to room 11. Follow the the thing. Don't yeah. step off the path. It, it doesn't yes. matter. That's not uh, actually a trap. That's just some world building I threw in there. Uh, okay. Um, we still do it. Sure. <laughs> okay, we're children. back to yeah. the, the door on the... Uh, room 11 you've gone through. Uh, heading back up, up, up. You've reached room 5, but room 5 is now full uh, because you guys have damaged uh, that hidden door and tried to steal the arrow out of that statue for some reason. (laughs) Well, yeah. Because it's there. There are three creatures that look like monodrones, but instead of being a round orb type thing, it is now two boxes on top of each other with a gear in the middle, long spindly arms, long spindly legs. This is a duo drone, a stepped up version of the monodrones that you guys have been fighting. Ah, this could be dangerous, guys. Let's smash them. It has a mouth. (laughs) It Let's see how it talks. Hello, duodrones. How are you? Oh, do we know they're called duodrones? I'm telling you that they're called duodrones. Hello, duodrones. How are, how are you? you? Uh, they do not speak. We're going to gonna go through this door here. Just chill out and take five, okay? 
as you guys approach, I said there are three, right? Yeah. yeah. As you guys approach, one duo drone gets uh, is still repairing the door you guys melted and broke, but the two stand in front of that uh, door that you couldn't get through originally. Did and we? We took a rest, right? You guys ha- took a short rest, but you should be whatever you have currently is what you can. Lightning breath. Lightning breath. All right. So you have it. Uh, so you're going to just straight up attack it? Uh, the, no, the drones. Yeah, uh, the drones? Sure. Uh, so uh, and in. then, like, book it because they do <clears throat> the weird acid stuff. What? Well, no, didn't they Didn't they do, like, that toxic crap at us? Uh, they did 10 points of damage? You guys had taken 10 points of damage. Uh, that wasn't from them, damage. though. You, you killed them before they did anything. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, yeah, acid breath. Or, sorry, lightning breath, these guys. Okay, you can take a surprise round on that, sure. The, what is What was your total? Because they need to roll to save. It's a 12. Uh, they both saved, so roll your damage and give me half of that. Eight, so four each. They each take four damage? Yeah. Okay, and please roll initiative now. Okay. Can I also cast... Uh, yeah, I'll mm-hmm. give you a, a, a free action for that. I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the uh, right one of those drones that are standing in our way. What What is that? Sacred Flame uh, mm-hmm. is a dexterity saving throw, and it does 1d8 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, radiant so, fire damage. So saving throw on those. Uh, they fail. Go ahead and roll your damage, please. Sweet. That'll be six. Yep, six damage on... It's just one target. Okay, so one of them uh, is taking... A uh, big uh, nasty hit. He is looking worse for wear. The door behind them, you two have now exploded open. Oh, so that, that one that you guys couldn't break through before, <laughs> you have just done enough damage between you guys to fuck up that door. So it's gone can, now. Can I Yay. do uh, a <clears throat> firebolt to the left one? You can absolutely do that. Okay, uh, that will in fact hit him. Okay. And you are going to be doing. Uh, 1d10. 13. Okay, you have blown up that boy. Bam! Yep. Is that ah! the damage one or the not the damage one? You haven't told me. You're gonna uh, that's the left one. The it was left. the left one, so, uh, uh yeah, the... Theodore hit uh, the right, I hit the left. Okay. Uh, okay, so the one on the left is still standing, but you've dissolved the other one. And I will say this, it explodes, but its pieces all dissolve as well. Now I need you guys to roll for your, uh... For your turn order, but before you do that, could you please all roll another saving throw? Well, this is classic, you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, uh, a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, you. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, Kava. Yeah. You feel weirdly hot, and that's about all that I can tell you for at this very moment. Like sexy or just like warm? Either way is fine, <laughs> but okay. you do feel. Weirdly, weirdly hot. So you All can right. do the shuffle shake. I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please roll for your initiative. Okay, so uh, first in the order is the damaged uh, duo drone. I uh, called cheat. No. <laughs> that duo drone is going to go after. Well, you all have made an attack on it, so let's see who it, who is it gonna be. I'm uh, behind these two. <laughs> yeah. I'm let's front and center. Let's go ahead and say uh, Kava is going to take the attack here. I am surprisingly hot right now. <laughs> Takes two swings at you. What's your AC? 17. It's the shield. Oh, you have the shield up? Yeah. So the uh, duo drone swings a fist once, misses, swings a fist twice, and hits. <laughs> Uh, it is going to give you yeah. not much damage, though. Oh. So, uh, it's going to do uh, <laughs> one damage to you. Owie! <laughs> it just punches you. However, oh. uh, as it hits you... This is so fucking dumb and absolutely, you guys. Mm. Uh, Alright. It is going to also burst into flames. Oh. And that explodes and dissolves and now you just have the one that was fixing the door but has now turned its attention to you guys so good job taking that punch and destroying that creature (laughs) Um, 
And speaking of which, June, you are up next. What would you like to do? This guy is behind you. Uh, you guys were facing the north door. He's behind you now. And so, like, if you're facing that the door, let's go behind you to your right, where okay. that where that secret door was. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hit you with my axe unless you leave right now. It does not understand you. Uh, so I have 19 to hit. That absolutely hits. Okay. You guys are tearing through this shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like, yeah, my hit is a plus five, plus, well, plus six with a plus one dagger. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, it's all fire. Nine damage. Uh, nine damage. Yep. He takes a nice meaty hit, but still standing. Haley, huh. it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to, I'd like to swing at it with the dagger. Go for it. In a uh, kind of a down plunging motion, like I'm going to uh, rip some shit up. Yep. Yeah, roll to hit. It's a d20. Don't you have acid as a cantrip? I, I do. 20 plus... That would hit if you rolled a 20? Yep. Nat 20, that is an auto hit. Uh, roll your damage is a d4. Four plus d4 bonus? plus 1. Yep, uh, she can roll 2 d4s because of the thing you did a critical hit. Okay, so 2, two. and... Yep. 3 so plus 1. Five, 5 plus 1 and your uh, dexterity modifier two. is 2. 2. So 5 plus 1 plus 2, so uh, 8. 8. <clears throat> so you've done eight damage. You have destroyed this guy. He is dead, and he also dissolves around your dagger. So he's gone now as well. Shall we go? <laughs> yes. Off to room three. Off uh, to room three! Matt, Matt, you were going to roll a perception. Would you like to continue with that, please? Do it. Do it. I rolled a 19 plus four on that perception. Okay, so you are looking down a crooked hallway. It takes a couple bends. You can't really see what's at the end of it, but the hallway looks fine. Sweet. Proceed! All right. Yeah, let's go to the door. Okay. Hey, it's, it's uh, Josh with Stepsworth. I'm your DM, and the guy who does all of the work here. This is the last episode of No Experience Necessary before Christmas, so everything in the Scudsworth production studio here is very Christmassy. Downstairs, Kamala, with, uh, uh, who does local multiplayer. She's doing a bunch of Christmas bacon, and I'm doing a bunch of Christmas editing, so... That's great. Uh, normal stuff that we do at the end here, I have to remind you that the music that you've heard and are hearing provided kindly by bensound.com, as well as Kevin McLeod with Incomputech. If you need some royalty-free tunes for whatever it is you're doing, that's the places that I, I go to. Uh, we're playing D&D &D, uh, version 5, that is uh, Wizards of the Coast uh, product, so thank you to them, of course. And if you wanted to check us out, go to uh, scudsworth.com if you wanted to see the maps or any of the game assets used for this episode. It will be in the show notes of this episode on scudsworth.com, so just head there. If you wanted to check us out on social media, you can find us on Facebook at just searching for the groups, scudsworth.com. Uh, you can find the all the players here on Twitter. Uh, so I'm at Tesscud, so T-E-H-S-E-U-D. You can find June at Gemini underscore trans. You can find Haley at Haley M. Gardner. And you can find Matt at B.S. Dragon. If you wanted to check out our Patreon, that's Patreon slash T-E-H-S-E-U-D. And we are still running it, even after the issues that we've had with Patreon in the past little while, so you give us a give us a couple dollars that'd be great and of course if you want to share this with your friends uh retweet retweet reblog repost do all that stuff just get the word out there we love new listeners and you can always tell them to start at episode 25 because that's where this uh this new series is running from uh that's it for me so thank you thank you oh no the music's getting louder oh no ah!